I basically look for in a part anything that I think I can do justice to. Uh, and also, I feel a bit of a, a fake saying this because I've just said it about two minutes before, so I'm recycling the answer, but I think it's a good one. And I think it's something that can sometimes change the landscape of things. So if it's com comedic, you go, oh, I never thought comedy could be like that. Um, which is a nice feeling to be a part of that sort of, those sorts of jobs. And if it's serious and dramatic, it kind of softly changes people's perspective on things. I'd like to think that um, stuff happens when you get a bit older, which makes you think that the amount of attention I paid to something that I thought was very important um, sometimes becomes less important later on. And I'm going to give you a specific example because that sounds very general. I've just told you all that I've had a baby. I have to kind of be more efficient with the amount of time I can spend on a particular role. Um, and that has actually been all right, you know. Whereas when I was a bit younger, I used to go, no, I need, please shut the door while I'm working, you know. But the door can be open now and you can hear him sort of being a baby in the background. So yeah, that kind of stuff. So I think as you get older, you're more efficient with what you need to do a particular part. And the other stuff just sort of gets left behind the wayside sort of thing. I think the challenges I face now are the same, weirdly, as the challenges every actor faces. Before, when I was uh, first starting out, I felt like casting was quite narrow in what I could do uh, because of my ethnicity. But now, um, I generally feel, just for me personally, because it's so far it's gone all right, you know, career-wise, I think the challenges I have are the same as any actor, and that's for a person to look at me and know that acting is my job and I could probably do more than one thing in acting, not in life, I can only do one thing in life generally. I'm not good at multitasking, but I can do lots of different roles, you know, and I think that's the same as what any actor really w wants people to know and feel that they're an actor and they can act lots of things. I've just done something, it sounds like I'm showing off that I'm not, I've just done a job with Stephen Frears, a film, and he did a film called My Beautiful Laundrette way back, and it would be silly to think that I could be in front of him and not think and try and be, I'm going to show you a thing or two, Mr Frears, do you know what I mean? So you want to be available to whatever he's, he's giving, and so you want to collaborate in that way. I just finished a comedy thing and it was very important for me to collaborate with that in that particular environment because the comedy was set up in a way that you're only as funny as the other person so you kind of had to draw the best out of that person in that com comedic setting um, and there's sometimes in a job where you have to be very clear about your personal journey and make sure that that's clear in your own head so you can react accordingly I think generally with each job, you just want to be emotionally available to whatever the director's giving you, and you just run with it. And sometimes it's super collaborative, and it's like, let's do around, let's you know, do this and do that. And sometimes you get a feeling that the director's hired you for a particular job, and it's your job to fill the space as much as you can and do what you do sort of thing. So it's very sort of case specific. I generally think, what we do, there's a sort of understanding of what needs to happen to make something work. And I've been really lucky in that the people that I've worked with keep that awareness at the forefront of their brain so that when you do a job, everybody I've been with or worked with have been very available to that. So it's, it's never, that's never really been hard. I still get very nervous, but um, I did something recently with Judy Dench and she talks about those nerves as being something that is good, is a good thing and it fuels the, um, just fuels you in, in, the th in the thing that you're doing. Now she didn't say that to me directly, she said it on Desert Island Discs. But I saw her working and I was like, oh, she's amazing and really has got so much experience and she still gets nervous. So I still get nervous a bit. Oh God, it's going to sound a bit cheesy. But the, the voice that you probably need to listen to 
might not be the loudest voice inside your head. It might be a real sort of quiet whisper of, go on, you're all right, you can do it. But usually that's the voice to listen to and the loud voice which is saying, you know, you're not good at what you do is the one you shouldn't listen to. So you've got to listen very carefully to your own instincts and the reason for doing stuff. But that takes a bit of patience, quietening yourself and have a, yeah, being inside your own skin a bit.